Welcome to Back to the Basics, the series where I show you how to do cool stuff related to Minecraft servers and modding. And today, I'm gonna show you how to set up a server resource pack. Now before we start, a few very important things to note. First of all, there is no difference between a regular resource pack and a server resource pack. They are the same thing. The only thing that setting up a server resource pack implies is that you make it so as soon as a player joins your Minecraft server, they will get a prompt to download the resource pack that you set. You can determine yourself if you want it to be a requirement or optional, but you don't have to do anything special with the resource pack before you can turn it into a server resource pack. Second, you need to host your resource pack somewhere online at a cloud service hosting provider. But not just any cloud service, it needs to be one that allows you to create a direct download link. While certain sources online tell you that you can use any popular cloud hosting provider like OneDrive, Dropbox, iCloud and Google Drive, in reality I wasn't able to find a way to create a direct download link with iCloud at all and there used to be a method with OneDrive which seems to have been removed somewhere in 2024. So I'll be showing you three different methods today, one with Google Drive, one with Dropbox and then the easy method with MC Packs. Let's start with Google Drive. The first thing you need is, well, a resource pack. Now again, this can be any resource pack. I'm gonna use bare bones because that way it will make it very clear when the resource pack was successfully downloaded. But if you wanna use, for example, a Nexo or items at a resource pack, you can also totally do that. After that, you wanna open Google Drive and upload your selected resource pack, just like that. Wait for a bit, and there it is. Now next, we're gonna select the pack and we're gonna click on share. This will then open up the following menu. And over here, underneath general access, you wanna click on this drop down menu. And instead of restricted, we're gonna set it to anyone with the link. This will make it so that this file is available for anyone that has the following link we're about to copy. Now be warned though, this is still not a direct download link. You can test this by pasting the link in your browser and pressing enter. Like you can see, instead of it immediately starting a download, it will open up a page where we first have to click on downloads before it actually starts downloading. That is not a direct download link and because of that not good enough for our Minecraft server. To turn the link we just copied to a direct download link, we're gonna go to this website, the direct link generator. Yes, it is truly that simple. So over here, we're simply gonna paste the drive link we just copied. We're gonna click on get direct link and there it is. <laughs> it's so nice that some things in life are just easy. So now we can copy this link to the clipboard and you will see when we now paste it in our browser and press enter, it will immediately ask you where you want to save the file. In other words, it's a direct download and that is exactly what we needed. So next, you want to go to your Minecraft server directory. It doesn't matter if you're self-hosting or at a server hosting company, the files will be the same. And somewhere in the root of your Minecraft server directory, you will find the server.properties file. This file, you simply want to open up. And then we want to scroll down all the way until we find a section where the word resource pack is mentioned multiple times. Now the location of this section might differ for you, as it is different per version of Minecraft that you run. But what you want to do is locate the line that simply says resource pack and at the end of that line you want to paste in the direct download link we just generated like that now in this section there will also be a line that says require resource pack it is on false by default if we would turn this to true it would still give players the option to accept the resource pack but if they decline they will be kicked from the server this is highly recommended if you're running a minecraft server that heavily relies on custom models like for example a server with items adder or nexo those servers will usually look like a complete mess without the correct resource pack. Now we're almost done. There's one more thing you might want to do. This is optional, but it is highly recommended. And it is generating a SHA-1 hash. Now I'm not gonna go too much into detail on what a SHA-1 hash is, but it basically is an extra security layer so your Minecraft is sure it is downloading the correct files. And not files that, for example, have been tampered with. You can do your own research on what it is exactly and how it works, but basically all you want to do is drag the resource pack you also uploaded to Google Drive inside of this website. And there we go. 
<laughs> That's it. Do make very, very sure that the zip file you input into this website is exactly the same as the zip file you uploaded to Google Drive. If you upload the zip file to Google Drive, after that you edit something in your resource pack and then you input it here, it will not work. Because this SHA-1 hash is generated by looking at the zip file's contents. So if that changes, the output will also be different. But this is the hash that we want to use, so I'm simply gonna copy it and then back in the server.properties file where it says resource pack SHA-1, we're gonna paste it in. And there we go. Simply save the content. And after rebooting the server, as soon as we join, we will get this message. The server requires the use of a custom resource pack. Rejecting this custom resource pack will disconnect you from this server. You can either disconnect or proceed. And by clicking on proceed, the resource pack will of course be downloaded. Now, one of the downsides of using Google Drive is that initiating the download can take quite a long time. I don't exactly know why this is the case, but it can take a few more seconds than with the other methods. But after that, we're good to go. If I go to my game menu and after that options and then resource packs, you can see that the server resource pack is applied to my game. All right, pretty cool. But what if you want to do it with Dropbox? Well, doing it with Dropbox works mostly the same, with a few key differences. First, you obviously want to open Dropbox. And we're going to upload our resource pack over here, just like that. Then after the upload is complete, you simply want to select the file. And then we're going to click on these three dots. And after that, uncopy link. This will then generate a link that you can use to share it. But this link is also still not good enough. It is not a direct download link yet. It will take us to this page where we still have to click on download. Lucky for us, it is really easy to change that. All you need to do is at the end of this URL where it says DL is zero, change it to DL is one. That's it. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Because when we now press enter, the download will immediately start. It is amazing. <laughs> Next, you want to locate the server.properties file in your Minecraft server directory. Once again, no matter if you're self-hosting or hosting at a server hosting company, the files will be the same and somewhere in the root there will be a server.properties file. Simply click to open it up, scroll down until you see the section where the resource pack is mentioned multiple times and there after the line that just says resource pack you want to paste in that Dropbox link. Once again, make sure it says DL is 1 at the end, otherwise it is not a direct download link and it will not work. For this example, I won't set the require resource pack to true, but if that is something you want to do, you totally can. And then, once again, we need to generate the SHA-1 hash. If you want to do research for yourself on what it is, you totally can, but it is basically an extra security layer, so your Minecraft is confident it's downloading the correct files. So once again, over here, we're simply gonna drag in the resource pack. Make sure it is the exact same resource pack you also uploaded to Dropbox. If you changed anything inside of the zip file, meaning the version on Dropbox and the version on your PC don't match, this output will also not be correct. Simply copy this, and then paste it after the line that says resource pack SHA-1. Ctrl V and there we go. We're done. Now save the content and after rebooting the server when you attempt to join, this is the message that you will see. This server recommends the use of a custom resource pack. Now this message is obviously different from the message that says it is required. In this case, it is simply a recommendation, but we're gonna accept it and you will see that as soon as we enter the server, bare bones is applied. Here you can see once again, it is fully working. Bare bones is now the official server resource pack. Now that I've showed you how to do this with both Google Drive and Dropbox, let me show you the easiest way of them all, MC Packs. Once again, a link to this website can also be found in the description down below. While it is for sure the easiest to use out of all the methods, it does also have some downsides. For example, that if you change something in your resource pack, you need to redo this entire process. But it is super easy. So first, you simply want to choose a file. So simply upload your resource pack. After that, confirm that you're human. Oh, I hate these. Am I human? I think I am. I got it! <laughs> I'm still human. Who would have thought? Okay, now we're gonna click on uploads and there we go. It will upload your pack and it will simply give you the information you need to fill in inside of your server.properties file. So once again, locate the server.properties file inside of the root of your Minecraft server directory, open it up and look for the section where resource packs are mentioned multiple times. Then the line where it says just resource pack, that is where you want to paste in the download URL, just like that. 
and the SHA-1 hash, this website will just generate for you. We don't need any separate generator. We can simply copy this and then paste it after the line that says resource pack SHA-1. Ctrl V, save your content. And after rebooting the server, as soon as we attempt to join it, it will give us this message. We click on yes and the resource pack will start downloading just like that. And now that you know how to set up a server resource pack, that's gonna be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, see you later. Bye-bye.